Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and this is day nine of the 12 days of Junk Journal gift ideas. This is a collaboration with several members from the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. Hey, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Of course, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you have any comments or questions, do use that comment box down below and check the description box to links to my other social media connectors, including the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group, as well as the other artists who are also creating these projects. So today we're to make an embellished corner protector or a tuck spot. And I had some scraps left over on my desk. So I thought, why not just use exactly what I have here? So what I've got is a two inch strip by, I don't know, a little bit longer than two inches. And I'm gonna make a little corner piece that will slide over or a corner hugger is what we call it. So I'm gonna take this edge and fold it down and makes a triangle start there. And then I'm gonna take this side and fold it down even to that first fold. Then I'll take this piece and cut it. So now I have this little triangular piece, see there? I'll go ahead and apply some distress inks around the edges. I don't wanna do the split down the center cause I'm going to cover it up. All right, so to make this a corner piece, I know that this book page, this music that I have is relatively thin and it will tear, but I happen to have another book page here. So what I'm looking at is, I think if I take this and tuck it up inside, I'll be able to use that as a double strengthening. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue all the way around the perimeter of this piece and then zigzag it through the middle. And I'm gonna take this piece and poke it up into that corner and adhere those together. And then I'll go ahead and cut off this excess. So this is the beginnings of my corner tuck spot. So if I have a page here and I open this up, that will slide onto the corner. Does that make sense? All right, not done yet. I've got a three by three piece of cardstock and this was an image left over from the Winter Bliss when I made the pop-up card. So I thought, why not use it? So I've got a Lace Duo stamp here and Jet Black Archival ink. And I will stamp this twice. I'm just adding a little bit of pattern to the background. I want this piece to go right here. So I'll go ahead and glue that down onto my card. And I need to apply some distress inks to the edges. So I'm just gonna go ahead with Walnut Stain and go right around the edges. Now I wanna go over to my sewing machine and I wanna stitch right around this outside edge. And while I'm over there, I've got some fabric that I'm gonna put down. So I'll show you what we're gonna do. Okay, so I'm over here at my sewing machine and I have regular sewing thread, regular sewing needle. I've set it for a zigzag stitch and I'm going to stitch around this element. So I've got a little strip of fabric that was left over from my pop-up card. And I thought I would just kind of add it over here as a little bit of a ruffle. So I'm kind of scrunching it up a little bit and then I'll start sewing. So I've just sewed down that. Starting to look cute, isn't it? All right, so what I wanna do now is I wanna glue this piece to the corner here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue right here and then place this down on top. And just to help it glue in place, I'm just gonna lay my little acrylic block. Now I wanna put a little embellishment on here. So I've got a scrap of paper and I've got the Cardinal stamp from Beeline Designs. I'm gonna stamp it with Jet Black Archival Ink on this little piece of paper. And then I'll fussy cut this little bird out. I'll go ahead and apply some Distress Ink Walnut Stain around the edges. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I've got this little bit of green ribbon and I should have sewn it down, but you know, hindsight's 2020. So what I'll do, actually, I think I still can. I don't wanna sew it too far down. So I'm gonna grab my sewing machine and just make a couple of stitches right there. So I just put a couple of stitches. I wanted to make sure that I was low enough that I didn't stitch my corner closed. All right, so now I've got some of this gold eyelash, eyelash yarn. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue down, make a little piece there, and then I'll glue down my cardinal on top. 
and I'll put my acrylic block to glue it in place. So that is drying. I thought I would show you one that I've already made. It's the same concept. And as you can see, you can take your corner of your book page, journal page, and put it like that. Now I didn't decorate the backside. I kind of like it with just the simple sheet music, but you could add another embellishment on the backside. So this would be a great gift to put in a journal or in a greeting card so that they could use it as a bookmark. You could also tuck additional items up underneath there in your journal. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing this tutorial on making a, an embellished corner protector. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Have a fabulous day, and we'll see you next time. Bye.